All right, hey guys, my name is Christian. Um, I'm from my 112 turn project I created to Mario. Um, it has extra features, uh, which you'll see in a minute here. Um, but uh, yeah, the game has two worlds. Uh, it has a victory level, um, and there is boss fights, including Bowser. Uh, so let's. Uh, uh, the game was made using a uh, Pi game. Uh, I, so I had to cut out the the sprites um, from sprites to the internet myself. So. Most everything in the game is not drawn by me, but was painstakingly extracted from spreadsheets. So there's that. All right, here's the game. So when you load a game, there's a initial menu. There is a start game, resume game, how to play, and then the quit. It's just quit the game. Uh, so let's, let's figure out how to play. Um, you use the left and right arrow keys to move, space to jump, you have to jump on enemies, and that that's how you play Mario. Um, so if you go to resume, you'll see that there are no save games and there's no high score because no one has played yet. So let's play a game. Hit start. And we can see that there are four different characters to choose from. Uh, I'll, play, I'll play Luigi. So you load into the game, you control it with the arrow keys and the uh, space bar to jump. Uh, you can see in the top left hand corner of the screen that once your, once your score surpasses the high score of the game, it, it lets you know. Um, and yeah. So when you jump in the blocks, uh, you know, coins or whatever power ups will come out. Um, if you hit a block with a mushroom, you'll get to be super. Um, and be able to break bricks. Um, uh, Power-ups such as invincibility, which will prevent you from dying. Um, it'll also prevent you from falling off of the map um, by by saving you, by picking you up. Um, you can also save the game by pressing escape, and it'll take you to a pause screen where you can resume, quit, or save. Quitting the game just takes you to the main menu, but let's save the game. So you have three save files that are available, and the game remembers which save file you save to. So let's save to the let's save to the second save file, and there we have Luigi in level one, world one. Um, so now we can go and we can quit the game, and if we want to start back, we resume the game, and there is Luigi in world one, level one. Yeah, so I skipped to the end of the level. Um, and as you can see, here's Bowser's castle, and then you walk up to his door, and the level's complete, uh, and you spawn in the castle. And the music changes, there are flares, um, there are like spikes on the ground which come out of these blocks, um, and there's, there's basically just like tons of stuff you can die with in uh, Bowser's castle. Um, but you just get to him, and then he falls down, and you've won the level. So when you win the game, you are uh, given a custom screen depending on um, what character you're playing that uh, is a victory screen as well as a uh, stats page to uh, explain your score. Um, also, of course, when you lose all your lives, you have to, uh, you know, it's game over. Um, but um, since this game was arguably hard for some people, and I'm not really sure why, People who are bad at Mario, apparently. Um, there is an option to restart the game on the level you were on, um, and you pay 3,000 points. Um, now, there are a few um, hidden things in the game, um, which you may not otherwise know if if you're not pointing it out, since, uh, or, or look at the code. Um, so, in the how to play screen, um, if you look very carefully above Yoshi's head, um, right next to his hat, it actually says uh, to press enter. Uh, for an Easter egg, so I'm gonna press enter real quick. And um, if you type in the word Konami into the game, uh, the music changes to the invincibility music, and you're able to no clip, and you have God mode, so you can just run through any uh, unit you want, and he will die. Or they will die. Um, and you can pretty much no clip around the map, but you cannot go off screen. Um, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you have fun uh, playing the game.